there are some overarching themes or problems better stated uh, in quintessence to quarks, uh, which have been with physics from the beginning and which receive varying emphases from time to time. For example, how many principles are there? Or one, few, or many? So the atomists would say two, Aristotle with his four causes would say four or really more since there's more to Aristotle than his four causes. Today's physicists uh, give you four forces, but they're very eager to reduce them if possible to one. How many different kinds of matter are there? Well, the Aristotelians give you five. Air, earth, fire, and water down here under the moon and a special material quintessence that fills the heavens. The atomists give you only one. Descartes gives you one. Newton gives you one and a few ethers. And how is it today? The physicists are much more generous with all their leptons and all their quarks, and yet with all that they cannot tell you what most of the matter of the universe consists of, which they call dark. Then there is the question whether the same principles hold throughout the universe. Aristotle said no, and many believed him. Descartes and Newton said yes, and many believed them too. But now the quantum physicists have shown that Aristotle was right, and that the principles that we derive from our handling of bodies around us do not apply throughout the universe, particularly to the uh, microscopic world of atoms and nuclei and particles. Is mathematics the right tool for physics? Is all physical behavior law-like? Uh, are there exceptions to any theory? Aristotle said, yes, of course. Things are the way they are always, or for the most part. Uh, Galileo believed that it was possible to have a physics that was uh, true and full. So did Descartes. So probably did Newton. The physicists of the Victorian era doubted it very considerably. But now physicists who propound theories of everything seem to think that it is within human grasp to have a adequate and full account of physical reality. Then there's the question of the relationship between ethics and physics, which has gone through various <coughs> Uh, different developments, uh, but which seems to be a question as alive as ever. And to conclude, what about the vacuum? Is it possible to have a space devoid of matter? Is it possible to have a space devoid of all qualities but extension? Aristotle said no. The atomists said yes. But the theory of relativity by Getting rid of the ethers that were supposed to be involved in electromagnetism seemed to support the atomists, but only to allow modern physicists to fill the vacuum with so many powers and prerogatives that its slightest fluctuation will give rise to a universe. These are some of the big questions that are considered in this small book. <laughs>